We have long known the risk of polyfluoroalkyl substances, or PFAS chemicals, often referred to as forever chemicals because, like that cousin who just can't get the hint, they never leave. And as they lurk in our systems, they wreak a multitude of serious health outcomes including kidney cancer, testicular cancer, hypertension, thyroid disease, low birth weight, and immunotoxicity in children. Despite knowing these facts, manufacturers use these chemicals in many products, including food packaging, because it makes total sense to wrap our food in plastics made from highly toxic substances. It's kind of like using a blowtorch to search a dark house for a gas leak. Some countries, like Denmark, reject this reasoning and have banned PFAS chemicals in food packaging. The FDA announced last year that it would phase out the use of these chemicals in children's lunchboxes, and we know what that means. Perhaps by the time little Johnny finishes college, he won't be eating a sandwich saturated with perfluorononeic acid. We know the excuses. It costs too much. We can't. The dog ate our research. We really don't wanna. Well, the time for excuses is over. This week, two manufacturers released their recipes for PFAS and plastic-free packaging. In an act of shocking civic responsibility, two companies, Zumi and Solenis, made their proprietary products open source, meaning any manufacturer is free to use these formulas to rid our planet of one source of forever chemicals. Kudos to these companies and time's up for their competitors. Now we need the manufacturers of textiles, cosmetics, leather, paper products, wire, plumbing, semiconductors, metal plating, well, you get the picture, to all follow suit. Because what we really need is the total eradication of PFAS chemicals from our world, or forever could be a really short time. Click the link below to demand a total ban on PFAS chemicals.